ITW presents Sesame Street, show 2706, season 21, produced at Unitel, New York. Snuffle Garden is tap our feet in time to music, but I can never get it right, so I was just practicing. Oh, well, show Elmo. Uh, okay. Never get it right. Yeah, oh. Elmo does see. Well, Elmo can help Snuffy tap his feet right. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, Elmo can. Elmo learned how from Bartley. Yeah, first, Elmo got to get up top. Yeah. How could you learn anything about music from Barkley? You'll see. Wait. Oh, Elmo learned this trick.
I've got some. Yeah, baby, but I've got more. You've got some. He's got more, but I've got the most. <laughs> I am the river, I am the sea, I am you, and you are me. I am the flower, I am the tree, who am I, who am I? I am the mountain, I am the plain, I am wind, I am rain. I am the planting and I am the grain. Who am I? Who am I? I am the sun, the moon, the stars, the planets, Jupiter and Mars. I am the north, south, east and west. Do you know who I am? Have you guessed? I am the winter, I am the spring, a summer flower opening. Autumn leaves, a bird on the wing. Who am I? Who am I? I am the children, every boy and girl. Do you know who I am? Can you tell? I am the world. Oh, oh hi, Maria. I'm going to help Snuffy learn to tap his foot. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, Elmo loves helping people. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, Elmo here to help Maria. Well, uh, thanks, Elmo, but I don't really need any help right now. Elmo loves helping people. Well, how about Elmo helping Elmo? Huh? Well, have you been practicing your alphabet and counting lately? Well, Maria. Well, yes. now's a good time. Oh, yeah. And I'll help you if you get stuck. Okay. And you do it along with Elmo, too, okay? Now, first, how about the alphabet? Okay. Good. Um, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, M, um, M, M, N, N, yes, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Good, <laughs> very yes. good. Now, Thank how you. about some counting? Now, do okay. you remember how to count in Spanish like I showed you? No, no. Um, Uno. Uno. Now, what comes next? Um, oh, uh, dos. Dos, um, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Oh, nueve. Diez. Oh, diez, yeah. diez, diez. <laughs> Very good, Elmo. Yeah, You Thank keep you. on practicing, okay? Yeah. Elmo loves helping everybody, mm -hmm. even Elmo. Mm -hmm. Bye, Maria. Bye. <laughs> oh, boy, that's smart. Oh, I wish Sully was here. He usually holds the nails for me. Oh, hi, you little red guy. Hi. Oh, I'm almost here to help, Mr. Biff. <laughs> oh, well, uh, gee, that's nice. But uh, you see, Sully's at the pancake breakfast over to the firehouse, so uh -huh. I'm here all alone today, and uh, I'm kind of busy. Oh, but, but Elmo wants to help, Mr. Biff. Elmo 
I love helping people. Gee, that's uh, that's well. Here, uh, here's a half a buck. Uh, go over to Hooper's and get me a cup of Java, extra light, four sugars. A um, cup of Java, extra light, four. Uh, what's Java? Oh, that's coffee, little red guy. Then, then Elmo gave Mr. Biff a cup of Java, extra light, four sugars. Right. Oh, Elmo loves helping. <laughs> Ah, there you are. We have to make 12 wake-up calls. Now, here's the list. Don't resist. Get to it. 12 phone calls. 12. 12. 12 phone calls. Uh, 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 uh. Huh? Uh, uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hello? 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 Well. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Gabby Gallagher! Oh, 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 Say, dudes, you know one thing? Wow. If you're new in the neighborhood yeah. and folks don't know who you are yeah. and you want to make friends, here's what you do. How'd you like to blow your top? I dig yourself some fine rebot. I hide, hide, hee hee hee. Oh, the honey home man, that's me. Honey, 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 Say, man, hand me a righteous fire. A hot, a hot, hee, hee. Oh, the honey home, man, that's me. Honey, honey, honey. Honey, honey, honey. Hori, 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 oh. Hori, 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 oh. A hee, 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 The hidey hole man, that's me. Hey, kid. Oh, hi. Who are you? My name's Smelly. Smelly Tavalis, and, oh. uh, I sell words. Oh, oh, oh. 
Elmo doesn't have any money except Mr. Biff's half a buck for a cup of java extra light with four sugars. Well, I'll tell you what. Just this one time, I'll give you a word for free. You take it. You use it all you want. Then, if you like it, maybe you could uh, scrape up some money and come back and buy some more words. Oh, wow. That's nice. Well, well what word is Mr. Smelly going to give to little Elmo? Huh? No. That's Elmo's word? No? You got it. No. Oh, well, Elmo already knows that word. Elmo says no sometimes. Yeah, but now I want you to say it all the time. All the time? Yeah. Whenever anyone asks you a question, you use your word. And take my word for it, kid. It'll change your whole life. You will be so happy. Smelly. Hey, don't mention it. <laughs> I got a feeling that I'll be seeing you around, kid. So long. Bye. Thank you. Hmm. Ooh. I'm gonna get a free word from Mr. Smelly. No. No. Hmm. No, 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 no. <laughs> Cats have kittens, doggies have pups, horses have pretty foals, and sheep have lambs. Cows have calves, and I bet you didn't know that elephants have calves too. Lions and leopards have cubs, which is the proper thing for them to do. Peacocks have chicks, deer have fawns, ducks have ducklings, often padding round on lawns. Pigs have piglets, and in case you didn't know, I've another fact for you. Goats have kids, like people have kids, like me. Hello there, and welcome to Mysterious Theater. I am your host, Vincent Twice, Vincent Twice. In today's episode, Sherlock Hemlock, the world's greatest detective, is on the trail of a mysterious shape. The search has taken him to Blanding's Castle, where he and his trusted companion, Watson, are running out of time. Let's join them. Come along, Watson. No time to waste. We must find the shape that matches this circle. Right, oh, old boy, you don't have to remind me. If we don't find the shape by the time that clock strikes five, we're doomed. But don't worry, old man. <laughs> I think I see the answer right here. I believe that in that desk we will find the shape we're looking for. Oh. A triangle. Fiendishly clever, though. That probably means we're on the right track. It was put there to mislead us. Yes, yes, I know we must hurry. 
It's all clear to me now. I believe that behind that tapestry, we will find the shape we're looking for. A rectangle. Drat, we're dealing with a diabolical mind here. I know, I know it's nearly time, but I think I see the solution now. I believe that on top of that table, we will find the shape we are looking for. Oh! Ah! Ha. A square. I don't believe it. Listen to that, Watson. The clock is striking five. There's three, four, five. Ha <laughs> ha, you see there, Watson? Yes, there was nothing to worry about. It was just as I suspected. The circle was there on the clock all along. Yes, yet another mystery solved by Sherlock Himlock, the world's greatest detective. <laughs> it was elementary, Watson. Elementary. Well, come along, old chap. Mustn't be late for tea. And thus ends another exciting episode from the case book of Sherlock Hemlock, the world's greatest detective. Join us next time for Mysterious Theater. Until then, this is your host, Vincent Twice, Vincent Twice, saying goodbye. One, two, three, four, five. Five baby oysters living castles by the sea. Five castles all together, lovely after me. I just glued this here drawer back together, and I gotta hold it like this until the glue sets. Oh, oh hi, Mr. Biff. Hey there, little red guy. Did you get my cup of java? No. Oh, why? Hooper run out of coffee? No. Well, then would you tell me what's going on, huh? No. <laughs> I gotta tell you, little red guy, you're starting to tick me off. Oh, well, well, Elmo, see, Elmo just, just, just using his new word that Mr. Smelly gave him. Yeah, yeah, uh, whatever. Uh, hey, give my nose a little scratch there, will you? No! Hey, come on, come on, give the old beezer a scratch, will you? I got an itch and I can't let go of the straw yet. No! <laughs> Elmo, Elmo loves his new word, Mr. Fibb. Yeah, well, right now, Mr. Biff is thinking of a couple of old words. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Biff did something funny because Elmo used Mr. Smelly's word. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, ooh. Elmo going to try new word with Maria. Yeah. Lucky Maria. counting? No! Well, why not? Don't you remember the numbers in Spanish? No! Well, I'll remind you. What's the number one in Spanish? 
It starts, ooh, ooh. What comes next? Ooh. No. Uno, very good. That's right, Elmo. Huh? Well, aren't you going to count some more? No. Elmo, you don't sound like yourself. Are you all right? No. I wonder what that was all about. like to read to you a poem about the number 12. You see, this is the number 12 right here. <clears throat> Goes like this. A poem about 12 by Ernie. The lovely number 12 is a special one to me. And here it is in person for everyone to see. Wait a minute. What happened to the 12? It was here a minute ago. Now there's this number 21 here. Oh well, never fear. Old Ernie is here. I will make a quick change in my poem, and it will be about 21. A poem about 21. The number 21 is a special one to me, and here it is in person for everyone to see. Something funny is going on around here. This is the number 12 again. Okay. Well... All right, I will just once again fix my poem. This was about the number 12. Okay, a poem about 12. The lovely number 12 is a special one to me, and here it is in person for everyone to see. Okay, the number 21 is a special one to me, and here it is in person for... Okay, a poem about 12. Okay, a poem about 21. Okay, I'll fix you. I will fix you. I will fix you. Another poem. 12 and 21 are special as can be. Whichever one shows up, that's just fine with me. You like that? They like it. Hi, I'm a world-famous photographer, and I'm here in the jungle to find some wild animals to take pictures of. Let's go see if there are any tigers around today. Come on. Hmm, don't see any tigers today. Well, no tigers. Let's look for bears, okay? Maybe we can take a picture of a wild bear. Hmm. Don't seem to be any bears today, either. Hmm. No tigers, no bears. Well, suppose we look for elephants. An elephant makes a good picture. Shh. Hmm. Don't see any elephants today, either. Shh. 
Well, no use trying to take a picture today. There are obviously no animals around today at all. Well, maybe we'll try again tomorrow. <laughs> uh, see ya. Thank you. Swing up high, swing up free. Nobody's gonna swing as high as me. Swing up high, swing up free. Come and swing along with me. Swing up high, swing up free. Look around and see the pretty things I see. Swing up high, swing up free. Come and swing along with me. Sunshine morning breaking overhead. Come on, lazy bones, get out of bed. Takes a lot of work to get to touch the sky. And you really gonna have to try. Swing up high, swing up free. Think about the highest thing that you can be. Swing up high, swing up free. Come and swing along with me. No! <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> no what? Oh, that, that's Elmo's new word, Gordon. Yeah, Mr. Smelly gave it to him. Free. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Hey, um, huh? I'm taking Miles to a movie this afternoon. You want to come along? No. No? Well, come on, I'll, I'll clear it with your mother, and afterwards we'll stop for some milkshakes or something, huh? How about it? No. Okay, no milkshakes. After the movie, We'll stop and play some miniature golf. Your favorite, huh? Oh. No. Well, okay, well, have it your way. See ya. Bye. Maybe saying his new word every time someone asks him a question isn't such a good idea. <laughs> I'm had a lot more fun before he started using this word. <laughs> Miniature call. <laughs> this is a letter G. G is a very useful letter. It's the first letter in the word, <laughs> as I was saying. G is the first letter in the word. <laughs> now then, the letter G is the first letter in the word, the word, giggle. <laughs> Dum de dum de dum 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 de dum de dum dum. Oh, hi, Jeffy. How are you today? Not too well, to tell you the truth, Cookie Monster. Well, what the matter, Jeffy? Well, you see, today I'm gonna do something that my mom says I have to do, and I am gonna do it. It's just that, well, you see. What you going to do, Jeffy? I'm going to get my hair cut. Oh. I've never done that before. Me understand now. I know I once cut my finger. I know I once cut my knee. If cutting my hair is gonna hurt like that, the barber shop's no place for me. But I've gotta go get my hair cut. Oh, Jeffy. Mom says I'm going to look so nice. She's right. But when it's done, I'll look on the floor at the hair that was up on my head before. It'll be all gone, and I'll bet it'll never grow. 
I'm getting my hair cut, but I don't want to go. So you see, Cookie Monster, that's why I don't feel so great. Oh, Jeffy, got no reason to feel bad. No? No, Jeffy, do me a favor. Look at me for a pretty shaggy today, hmm? Mmm, it does look a little shaggier than usual. Right, but me no like fur to get too shaggy, so you know where me going? Where? Me going to get me fur cut. Oh. Me gone plenty of times before. Really? It not like cutting me finger. It not like cutting me knee. Cause cutting me fur doesn't hurt at all. The barber's gentle as can be so me. Going to get me fur cut. Get me going to look so nice. Me look in mirror and me see a handsome monster. Oh, it me, me always get me fur cut when it grow. Me getting me fur cut and me so glad to go. So you see, there's no reason to be afraid to get hair cut. Gee, you mean you like it when you get your fur cut? Mm-hmm. Well, then maybe I'd like it too. Like it? You'd love it. We'll, we'll look, look in the mirror and we'll see a handsome monster. monster. Oh, oh, it's me. It's, it's fun to get your hair, hair cut when it grows. We're getting our hair cut and we're so glad to go. What's wrong? I've lost my pet. Where'd you lose it? I don't know. Don't you remember? What's remember? Remembering is like walking backwards through your mind. You get to see what you've done before. When did you lose your pet? Yesterday. Then all you have to do is walk backwards through your mind to yesterday. Can you do that? Sure. Okay. Where were you yesterday? <sighs> I remember. I remember. I, I went to the park. And what were you doing in the park? Having a picnic. I remember. I left my pet at the park. I don't see a pet anywhere. He's here, all right. That's him. Come on, George. Let's go home. Hi, guys. Where have you been? Well, to the movies and miniature golf. Miniature golf? Well, where's Elmo? He's the miniature golf nut of all time. Well, you know, that's really funny. I asked him if he wanted to come along, and he kept saying no. That's funny. He kept saying no to me all day, too. And Biff called to tell me he thought that Elmo was sick. Something's hmm. wrong here. You know, you're right. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Stories up and down the hall. Wonder what's behind them all. Stories that lead to anywhere. Got to ABC, what's there? Got to ABC, decide. Where's the door I haven't tried? ABC, D, east to west. Going on and Hey. What 
bouncing ball, a butterfly, a bat, red, a bean, a brick, bananas, button, a bunch of broccoli, baby bottle, a book, a banana boat. Bye. Bye bye. Bees. It's springtime. Leaves sprout and grass grows and birds start to sing. Walk in the park, take a ride on a swing in springtime. Then comes summer. Sun is hot, grass is green, there is no school. Bathing suits, lemonade, swim to get cool in summer. Then comes autumn. Red and gold leaves fall from trees every day. School starts and summer birds all fly away in autumn. Then comes winter. Snowmen and snowballs, cold hands and cold nose, bright frozen icicles, heavy warm clothes in winter. Then comes springtime, then summer, then autumn, then winter, and then it's springtime again. everyone good evening and welcome to the first annual reunion of all the things that start with that special sound Shh. Yeah. thank you thank you wonderful and now now if everyone's finished with their shish kebab and sherbet i'd like to introduce our first after dinner speaker someone who has some very special feelings about the sound Shh. please welcome a shirt yes wonderful come on in come on in Thank you, Guy. <clears throat> you know, I may be hand-stitched from the world's finest silk, mm -hmm. but if it weren't for shh, I'd be nothing but earth. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank Great. You. Okay, thank, thank you. you. And now, and now, and now, please welcome a shoe. Ah. Yeah. Come on up. Come on. Excuse me. Yep, yeah. step right up there, shoe. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. Excuse me. It's okay. Don't be nervous. Hmm? Oh, uh, I'm not nervous. But you're shaking. Well, that's because shake starts with shh, just like shoe. <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> A shaking shoe. Isn't that terrific? Okay. And now, and now our next speaker is a shovel. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, 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 wait a second. Uh, shh, shh, shh. Uh, uh, tell me, Shovel, is something wrong? I'm shy. Aww. Don't be shy. Okay. <coughs> it's a shrieking shovel. Let's make her feel right at home. <coughs> ah. Ah. Okay, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'd like to say something. Well, who are you? I'm a king. But king doesn't start with shh. No, but short does. And I'm a very short king. But surely... And don't call me Shirley. Oh. <laughs> excuse, me, okay. excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Is this the special dinner for all the things that start with shh? That's right. Who are you? A shepherd. Well, shepherd starts with shh. Yeah. Yeah. Why, do, why don't you join us? I can't, I can't. I'm trying to find my sheep. sheep. Oh, they ran away. Have you seen them? Well, sheep starts with shh. Yes. Yeah, sheep Any with sheep it. here? Uh, no. 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 Oh, there they are. <laughs> you stay right there. Hold it down in here. Yeah. The name. 
neighbors are complaining. Well, who are you? I am the sheriff. Well, sheriff starts with shh. Uh, how about some shish kebab? Don't mind if I do. Wait, wait. What is that? Wait, there's a shark. 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 Look at Evans. Shark. Listen, we've got shortcake. And we have shrimp over here. There's a shrimp right here. And uh, we certainly have a lot of shenanigans around here, too, don't you think? Hey, if we call this the same, and we call this different, what do you call this? And this? Different. And this? Different. And? Different. And this? talk to you for a minute? Okay. Elmo, you want to tell me what's going on? No. Oh, come on, Elmo. This is serious. Tell us what all this no saying is all about. Oh. Well, Mr. Smelly gave me a word. Free. Mr. Smelly? Well, that's his name. Mr. Smelly gave little Elmo the word and told Elmo to say it every time someone asked him a question. And it would make Elmo very happy. And ever since Elmo started using it, he hasn't had any fun at all. And he's not happy. Would this word be no by any chance? Everything started out so good today, Gordon and Maria. Elmo, Elmo helped sna Snuffy uh, tap his foot to the music, and Elmo counted Spanish for Maria. Did, didn't Elmo do that? Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and was going to get a cup of java and extra light four sugars from, from Mr. Biff. Yes. Well, Elmo felt so good helping people. Mm -hmm. Now, Anna? now, now, Elmo didn't get to go to the movies with Miles, and Mr. Biff got upset because Elmo didn't, didn't get his, his cup of java, extra life for sugars, or scratch his beezer. And worst of all... Worst of all what, Elmo? Elmo didn't get to play miniature golf. Oh, <laughs> Elmo, no. Elmo. Yes, Elmo. Elmo going to going to be the old Elmo and help people. Mm -hmm. Elmo not going to say no anymore. Elmo going to help and help and help and help and help and help and help uh -huh. because Elmo loves miniature golf. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll go tomorrow. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, good. Thanks, right. Gordon. Yay. <laughs> Now, Elmo, now you listen to me because this is important, okay? okay? And you listen too because this is important for you too. Now, if ever anyone you don't know offers you something, a word, candy, a ride in the car, never, never take it. You just say no and turn around and leave. You go home, get out of there, go find a grown-up you know. 
Do you understand? Uh, yes. What did I just say? Well, if any if anybody Elmo doesn't know offers to give him a word or um or candy or candy or ride in a car ride in a car or, or money money or, or anything yeah anything. What are you gonna do? Oh, Elmo will say no and go home or, or find a grown up Elmo knows. Yeah, oh. you got it. Oh. You got it too. Maria? Yes? Then, then no is a pretty good word sometimes, right? Sometimes no is a great word. Oh, well, thanks, Maria. Mm, you're welcome. Thanks, Gordon. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. Well, that's half the battle. Now for the other half. B is for bicycle. B is for bear. B is for bug. See him fly through the air. B is for branch sticking out of a tree. Too bad, Mr. Bear. B is also for B. We take you now to Kermit the Frog with another fast-breaking news story. Oh, I'm so excited oh, uh, about this. Hi, all, this is Kermit the Frog, and I am standing outside of the Super Game Stadium where today's Super Game is about to be played. And these people that you are seeing that are standing behind me are waiting in line to watch this fantastic game. And I thought I would speak to a couple of them now, and I will just watch me. Here I go. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes? Uh, pardon me, I was wondering, I'm Kermit the Frog of Sesame Street News. Oh, yes. Yes, well, I was wondering if you could tell me what is it like to be the last person in line for this game. Oh, am I last? Uh, yes, ma'am, you are. Oh, well, you must understand, you mm -hmm. see, it was a terrible morning. Terrible the, morning, Yes, uh -huh. the car broke down, I couldn't uh -huh. get a babysitter. Right, that sounds and pretty boring, went... ma'am. Wait a moment. What? Uh, you are standing behind me. What? So yeah. it means you, frog, are last. Uh, no, 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 you see, I'm just standing here talking to people. No, don't worry, I'm sure you'll get a seat, uh, even though you are last. No, no, I am not last. You look last to me. <clears throat> well, moving right along, folks, moving right along, let's just step up to the head of the line here, and we'll talk to the person who is first in line. Pardon me, sir, uh, what is it like to be first in this line? Well, uh, he's, he's not first, actually, I am. What? what do you mean, you're first? I'm standing here, aren't I? Well, yes, but you see, I was first. I just stepped back to speak to my friend here. Well, actually, dear, you know, I think the frog is first. Uh, no, 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 I'm, I'm from Sesame Street. Well, it doesn't matter where you're from, you're, you're first. I thought I was first. No, the frog's what first. What is going on? No, 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 no I do hey, not want to be first. Well, it doesn't matter. All right, Jake, yeah. talk to everybody. All, all right. right. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Watch, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh. Ow. Oh. Ouch. Oh, oh. Uh, frog, don't worry. Even though you are last, I'll save you a seat. <laughs> can't you see? There's a bird on me. Oh, can't you see? There's a bird on me. I can't tell if there's one or two or ten or three. Don't want to complain or raise a fuss, but them birds up there think I'm a motor bus. Oh, gee, there's a bird on me. Oh, don't you see? There's a bird on me. They sit there talking to each other, not to me. Now, how do I find a way to explain that I'm not a boat or a railway train? Little birdie, fly away. And don't you come back no other day. Shoot. Well, can't you see? There's a bird on me. Oh, woe is me. There's a bird on me. I'm so darn sick of every feathered friend. Oh, gee. Stop your chirping and quack, quack, quack. Come on, bird. Get off of my back. So you see, you don't have to pay me now. You take your word. You use it for a while. And if you like it, maybe want some more words, I will be right here for you. Sweet deal, eh? Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, is your name Smelly Tavalas? Yeah, well, uh, maybe it is, and uh, maybe it isn't. Yes, it is. That's Mr. Smelly. Uh, excuse us, kids. We'd like to talk to Mr. Smelly alone for a while, okay? All right. Remember what we said. Oh. I understand you've been selling words to the children around here. So? Well, so? You make Emma really, really unhappy. 
Hey, that's your opinion. Well, we might be interested in buying a word or two. Well, why didn't you say so? Well, what have you got? Hey, take a look. <laughs> there you go. The, these are words that you want to sell to the kids around here? Let me see, let me see. No, 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 Maria. Uh, trust me, these are not words that we want Miles and Gabriella using. Maria! Well, what does this word say? Never mind, Elmo. Huh. Why don't you go uh, get Biff his cup of java? Extra light, four sugars? Yeah. Oh, okay. You were going to sell these words to the children on Sesame Street? Hey, it's a free country. I'll free country you, you no, little No, no, wait, 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 Maria. No, you're right. You're absolutely right, yeah. Mr. Smelly. It's a free country, and you have every right to sell these words to our kids. <laughs> what? And if you do, we have every right to... I see your point. Hey, no hard feelings, okay? Smelly, huh? the words. Hey, hey, come on, uh, come on, I need these words. A guy's got to make a living. The words. Okay, okay. Sheesh. Oh. Sheesh. Okay. You may now be excused. Yeah, well, I'll see you around. You better not see us around. And it'd probably be a good idea if we didn't see you around either. Yes, Yes.